Good day everyone, my name is Raja Regala and for today's lesson, we are going to talk about adjacent angles. So, on this lesson, you will learn about what is adjacent angles, example of adjacent angles, properties of adjacent angles, and how to identify adjacent angles. What is adjacent angles? So, adjacent angles, these are the two angles that have a common side and a common vertex or the corner point. So, um, adjacent angles, they do not overlap in any way. So, they are two angles that are next to each other. Two angles are said to be adjacent angles if they share a common vertex and a common side, and they do not overlap. So, observe the following figure to understand what is adjacent angles um, look like. Angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent because they have a common side, of BD, and a common vertex, B. The examples of adjacent angles. So we can see uh, many real-life examples of adjacent angle. First, the most common real-life example of adjacent angles can be seen in the two pizza slices that are placed next to each other. Second, another common example can be seen in the clock which shows the hour, minute, and second hand that form adjacent angles when all the three are away from each other. So lastly, we can find three adjacent angles in the steering wheel of a car. And we have the properties of adjacent angles. So the properties of adjacent angles are given below that help us identify them easily. So first, adjacent angles always share a common arm. They share a common vertex. They do not overlap. They have a non-common arm on both sides of the common arm. And lastly, two adjacent angles can be supplementary or complementary based on the sum of the measures of the individual angles. How to identify adjacent angles? So adjacent angles can be easily identified with the help of two main properties. Adjacent angles always have a common side and a common vertex. So if any two angles satisfy only one of these properties, then they will not be considered adjacent angles. So it is necessary for the angles to fulfill both of the properties. So we can observe the following figure to identify the adjacent angles. So we have the figure one. Angle 2 and angle 1 are not adjacent angles as they overlap with each other. So angle 1 is angle AOB and angle 2 is AOC. So next, we have angle 1 and angle 2 are not adjacent angles as they share a common vertex O but they uh, but not on a common side. So Angle 1 and angle 2 should be next to each other. So we can see there that angle AOB, which is angle 1, is um, far from angle 2, which is angle COD. So figure number 3 is angle 1 and angle 2 are not adjacent angles as they share a common side. MO but not a common vertex. So we can see that we have two vertex which is O and M. But adjacent angle properties should be uh, I should have a common vertex. Okay? So and lastly we have angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles as they share a common vertex O and a common side OC. So, angle 1 is angle BOC and angle 2 is COA. Hello everyone, I am Mary Christine Aranda. So now, let's proceed to non-adjacent angles. Non-adjacent angles are angles that satisfy one of the three properties, which is that they do not share a side or a common vertex. 
also non-adjacent angles are not next to each other. These two diagrams are examples of non-adjacent angles where it has no common arm, no common vertex, and two separate angles. So, as you can see in the first diagram, angle 65.9 degree angle, its vertex is I. Then, it has two rays which are H and J. The second diagram, 38.1 degree angle, its vertex is not the same with the first diagram, which is F, as well as the two rays, which are E and G. Therefore, they are not connected with each other. So, that is, that is how the non-adjacent angles dissimilar to adjacent angles.